go that way. Thanks. Morning guys, I'm heading to a client meeting. Another busy day working for client work, which unfortunately I can't share, but here's what I wanted to talk to you about. Yesterday I was paying taxes and you know, going over the bank account with Noah and I was just shocked and amazed uh, with how much money we spent. <laughs> you know, it was really expensive months. We, we went to Copenhagen, even though that was sponsored, we did shop a lot and went to crazy restaurants and then Noah went to New York. so. Uh, it ended up being really expensive and I was really shocked at seeing how much money we spent and that's actually what happens every month and every month I have that struggle within me where I'm thinking oh my god we're spending so much money or we're not saving enough money um, so I kind of wanted to share with you kind of how I deal with it and what's my philosophy kind of of personal finance for years, every month when I was going over our expenses, I was feeling really bad and crappy about not saving enough money and about spending money on stuff like uh, going out to restaurants, drinking coffee outside, um, buying clothes or vacations and stuff like that. And that got even worse when I discovered Mr. Money Mustache. That's a blog about personal finance, which I mentioned before, uh, about a couple who kind of found a way to spend really a small amount of money and saved a lot. And now they kind of uh, retired really early. And I was trying to convince my wife to, you know, reduce our expenses and try to save it as much as we can. And it was, it was really a difficulty uh, because me and my wife have different philosophies. She kind of likes to buy clothes and expensive stuff and I'm more like um, I don't care about, I don't know, expensive stuff and I'd rather save up more money so we can retire early. And we had a lot of arguments and a lot of struggle and for years every month we would look at it and we were trying to think okay what if we don't go out to restaurants and what if we i don't know uh don't have a cleaner and we clean our own house and we try to think about how to save every penny and it we spend a lot of energy trying and trying and in the end not only did we not save or manage to save a little bit we were bummed out and we were like mentally tired and hating to you know doing the, the financing thing every month. Then I got to read something online by a guy called Ramit Sethi who is another guy online who talks about finance but has the opposite approach from a Mr. Money Mustache and what he was saying was that instead of wasting all of your mental and creative energy trying to save up money, why don't you spend that energy into how, much, how to make more money and then instead of because you know when you're trying to uh, save up money that amount of money that you can save is limited by how much money you make for example if you uh, make ten thousand dollars a month the maximum that you can save even if you won't spend a penny is ten thousand dollars but if you make ten thousand dollars and you're uh, putting energy into how to make another ten thousand dollar or another twenty thousand dollars then the amount of money that you can make is unlimited so you might as well put your energy into how to make more money rather than try to save up you know a few dollars on a cup of coffee and that kind of resonated with me and the truth is that over the last kind of like three or four years I've been putting my energy into, you know, creating more value for my clients and for, you know, uh, in the products that we create. And I've managed to actually double my, my income every month for like four, four years in a row. So actually that strategy did work out for me. 
But don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that you should spend more money than you make. That's definitely not the case. We never overdraft and we never took a loan in our life. So yeah, we do spend a lot of money, but we spend the money that we have. So maybe we're not saving enough, but I'm not focusing right now my main effort into how to save what I have, but rather how to make much more. Because at least in Israel, the situation is that even if I manage to save a little bit every month, I'm never going to be able to buy a home or like really make a difference in my life financially. In order to do that, I really have to really increase in magnitude the amount of money that I make and that's what I'm putting my efforts into. It is now 6.20 and I'm heading out to an event thrown by Intercom. Remember I told you last week that we're using a product called Intercom to collect all the feedback on Prospero? So they're putting out an event in Tel Aviv and I'm heading there right now. Pretty decent uh, event, good wine and interesting talks. Uh, I'm gonna head home and search for a late night dinner. Hope you had a great day. I'll catch you guys tomorrow.